Everybody's laughing at you. Saturday was originally Saturday's day. That's where they got the name for it, you know. This Saturday is Saturday the 11th. Saturn's largest moon, Iepetus, is the 11th largest natural satellite in the entire solar system. That means something, don't you think? What do you think it means, Julian? I think it means many things. I think it means that Iepetus deserves homage of some, some kind. Maybe a sacrifice. We've talked about sacrifices, Julian. Oh, just a small sacrifice, Doctor. Not a human, not even a chicken. No, how about a metaphorical sacrifice? I will give something of myself, of my genius. Like what? What would you consider a great sacrifice to honor Apatis? Well, Iapetus was a titan. His symbol was a spearhead. He was called the Piercer. Look at them, the mindless rabble. Iapetus was considered to be one of the gods of mortality. What would be more fitting than a sacrifice? These drooling idiots of Gotham need to be reminded of their mortality. They need to know that I 
it is. He's still watching. No human sacrifices, Julian. A reminder then. Something to let them know that the calendar has all the answers. If only they would listen. Julian? Am I still speaking to Julian? Or has Calendar Man nosed in on our session? S sorry, Doc. It's just, why can't the people see my genius? Why won't they understand me? Those are good questions, Julian. But I would ask you for next time to think about these questions instead. Why do you feel such a need to be heard by others? Why does a genius such as yourself require the attentions of the mindless rabble in the first place? Isn't it enough for you to know that you're a genius? But what of my sacrifice for Iapetus? You said Iapetus was a titan. And didn't the titans go to Tartarus? Yes. Then I suggest a sacrifice. You go out to a nice restaurant on Saturday, order the steak tartare, drink a toast to Iapetus and another to Saturn himself, and then go home and get a good night's sleep. I'll see you next Thursday. Hey, um, listen, I had a break in my schedule. One of my clients canceled, so I wanted to stop by and say hi, see how you're doing, how your day is going, and if you had a chance to rethink that uh, dinner offer we talked about. <laughs> Davis, you know I consider you as a colleague and friend. Why would you want to ruin that relationship with romance? Hey, a guy can dream, right? <laughs> and I'm lucky to be in such dreams. I'm just really not the dating type. What is it with you? It's like you had your heart broken or something like that. You seem so guarded. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Whatever. Jim Gordon stopped by earlier. Detective Jim Gordon? The one that's obsessed with finding out what happened to the Batman? He said he wanted to check your files from when you were at Arkham. He said he was following up on a lead on the Joker. What about the Joker? I don't know. He said he was just trying to connect the dots. Oh, well, those files are protected by doctor-patient confidentiality. He'd need a warrant, and even then it'd be sketchy legal ground. I think he was hoping that you would just, I don't know, maybe open your files and give him something to go on. You know, Joker has been gone from Gotham, I don't know, longer than Batman has. Maybe that smiling freak is dead. Yeah, maybe. Hey, I'm gonna get out of here, all right? All right. Have a good one. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Oh, hey, Arlen. I don't know if you've seen on the news or not, but uh, Gotham First Federal was hit last night. Isn't that your neck of the woods? Yeah. Yeah. I seen a picture of the girl. I mean, it was kind of blurry, but oh my God. <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> you be careful on your way home tonight. You know, ever since Batman disappeared off the scene, every freak in a leather costume is trying to wreak havoc on the city. Be careful. <laughs> I will. Have a good one. Thanks. Why can't I remember? to run with the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have given us the time of day back then, but now. <laughs> now that Joker's not around to protect your fine. I think me and you need to talk about us. <laughs> Go back up to your place, put on that costume. We'll all have some fun. I'm Dr. Harleen Quinzel. I'm not your plaything. Your Harley Quinn. 
and you know it. Now, we can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Ah! Help! Someone please help me! <laughs> you think Batman's gonna come and help you? You see him coming? <laughs> Batman ain't here either. No, he's not. <laughs> now, you give us what we want, and there will be no more problems. What you want? What about what I want, big boy? Don't kill me, Harley. Don't kill me. Oh. I ain't gonna kill you. I need you to go out and tell the rest of the morons and hoods that weren't good enough to walk in Mr. J's shadow to know that I ain't some damsel in distress needing a man to save me. I ain't your toy. I ain't dainty. <laughs> yeah, I ain't weak. You let them know that, uh, would you? Whatever you say, Harley. Oh, we were just playing. I almost <laughs> forgot. You're gonna want your bat back. Wait! Oh. 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 oh, geez, Dr. Q. We gotta get you out of these clothes. You ain't a nun. <laughs> <laughs>